Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am here today with another Dollar Tree haul. Found some pretty cool stuff. This one has a lot of beauty products and a couple new food items. So let's jump right in. These, I'm sure you saw them from the thumbnail. We found some cheese and peanut butter Keebler crackers that are Pop Troll. So, of course, you know, Jackson could not leave them at the store. I'm having wild hair. Okay. So, if you guys notice, I'm in the same everything because I just filmed my crafter haul. So, now I just kind of jumped into the next one. So, yeah. So, these Keebler, so their name brand, they're good until August 1st of this year. You get eight packs in here. And each pack, it looks to me... Like, each pack has four crackers in it. And, yeah. It says there's four possible pups. So, I'm guessing Chase, Marshall, Sky, and maybe Rubble? Or Rocky. Or Rocky. Could be Rocky. Rocky's, or, Rocky's the poor one who always gets left out. Or, or Zuma. Or Zuma. Zuma's Could be Zuma, too. He gets left out a lot, too, huh? So, we did pick up a few more a few we cleaned the store out they had eight left so i bought all of them and we got a few duplicates but we got some more of these jurassic world blind bags with the mini action dinos mm -hmm. if you guys see these i say scoop them up because these are like high quality blind bags for a dollar but it's okay if you get um the same yeah it's okay if you get duplicates because then you just have like a little herd of that kind of dinosaur, right? So, yeah, it's okay. And then, and then <laughs> some, and then I got two Stygian Moloks, so two Stygian Moloks can fight together. Oh, yeah. So the dinosaurs, if you get two of the same ones, they can fight together too. All right. So next thing, I got some of these fudge hearts. I got two bags of these. And I got two bags of the white peanut butter hearts. These have been highly recommended. And I'm going to put these in my candy jar for Valentine's Day. So next, I picked up some new notebooks. So these ones are by Jot. And they both have 60. Just the regular blue lined sheets. So this one says be bold in kind of like a rose gold. That's the clear cover. And then it looks like that on the inside so pretty so this one is going to jenna my daughter Mom, these two are both the same ones this one i'm gonna keep for myself so it says notes in the gold reflective on the clear and then these pretty black roses i love this so the this one again has the blue lined sheets 60 sheets in here these are perforated too so what i love to use these for is shopping lists because you can rip them right out fold them up put them in your purse so these two are the same ones oh yeah <laughs> so if you guys let me see so if you guys remember in my last haul i hauled the avocado notebook that has the little avocados all over the front of it i'm looking over here because jackson's holding it let me see it. so i had hauled this one so what I am doing is I'm keeping track of um, like keto ideas in here because I figured, hey, it's got avocados on it. Those are like the number one keto food but besides bacon. And the store that I was in <coughs> had the set and I just, I had to get the other one to match. The Let's Avocado. So cute. And it just has the little dotted line sheets. There's 80 sheets in these. So I'll be ketoing my life away it, in those. When it makes right, that. you guys. Fun fact. So for a long time, I've been like absolutely obsessed with cows. After my dad passed away, I kind of stopped like collecting cow stuff because that was really something every time he would see cow stuff he would get it for me and it was just kind of a really special thing so after he passed away it just kind of like not that it wasn't as special anymore it just kind of like 
one of those things that just really tugs at your heart. But cows are still one of my favorites. And every time we drive past a field that has cows in it, I have to say cows. And I have to roll down the window and talk to them if they're by the fence because I just have to. And I'm going to have a cow one day because I love them. No. And look at these. They're socks. They're cow socks. Well, so they're women's five to nine. And they have little fuzzy ears. So these, they just had to come home with me. So yeah. So I guess I'm starting my cow obsession again. So I picked up a couple of, I don't know where the other one went. Mm -hmm. Um, I picked up a couple of Valentine cards. I got this one. Real friends don't come along every day. That's why I'm keeping you for a lifetime. Happy Valentine's day. So I picked up that one. I picked up another one for Jenna to send to her grandparents. We're going to put some pictures in it that I forgot about. Whoops. And I was supposed to send them in a Christmas card. I addressed the Christmas card. Never put a stamp on it. And it never made it to the mailbox. So we're going to do a Valentine card instead. And yeah. So I picked up another a friend card too to send out for Valentine's Day. I'm not gonna say who it's going to, but. Anyways, so I have been impatiently waiting for my Dollar Tree to get these little succulent decor pieces in. They had the triangular shaped ones. I didn't like those ones very much. I also didn't like the one that's brown painted. It's like the same exact color as the inside, so it looked really weird to me. So I just got this one. I thought this would be really cute on my three-tier tray when I decorate it for like springtime. Another really cute little decor piece I found was this. It says Bistro Cafe, fresh brewed, premium quality coffee served daily. So again if you guys have been around for a while you know along with owls and now cows i love anything that has to do with coffee so there it is see even my shirt first i drink the coffee then i do the things so that's what it says <clears throat> also speaking of shirts i had some people ask in my last video if the shirt that i was wearing was a cleveland cavaliers shirt it is not. Our local youth football league is the Chehalis Junior Cats. And that's who my daughter cheers for. That's who I am a cheer coach for. And they just so happen to use the same C as the Cleveland Cavaliers. So I'll insert a picture of that shirt so you guys can see. So yeah. All right, back to the haul. So we finally got in these kitchen towels. The only one I really wanted was the Just Beat It one. They also had the one that says start each day fresh or start fresh each day with the lemons and they had a different coffee one. Those ones, the stuff on here like these, I don't know if you can really tell. It's not like a decal that's like Whoa. glue or like put on there. It's like actually in the fabric. So the other ones, the letters were peeling off of almost all of them. So I was like, mm -hmm. if I wash that one time, it's just going to be a regular black hand towel from Dollar Tree. So what's the point? When I saw it in person, it just was not up to my standards, I guess. So, right. so the last few things, I have some wish list finds. So I found the Global Beauty Care Women's Deodorant Wipes. You get 25 wipes in here. There's no alcohol and it's the powder fresh scent. So actually, I'm giving these to Jenna, my daughter, and I'm going to open them and smell them. Oh my. Can I smell? You want to smell? Those smell good. Oh, those smell really good. They smell good. nice and fresh. Those smell like... They smell really good. So I was going to keep these for myself, but I still have a ton of those secret body wipes that everybody was hauling way back. And it seems like their Dollar Trees are kind of trickling those back in. So 
if I, for some reason, can't find these again, then I'm just gonna get some more of the secret ones because the secret ones were perfect. So yeah, I got these for Jenna to try out. So, oh my gosh, I just love the little cruelty-free logo with the little bunny. It's so cute. With the heart? Yeah, his ears are a heart. Another wish list find. I found the Allure Sensitive with vitamin E. So these are the facial cleansing wipes. I have been using the ones with the witch hazel and the witch hazel scent is like really strong. I had to double check the ingredients and make sure it didn't have rubbing alcohol in it because it kind of smells rubbing alcohol-ish. So I don't know, maybe that's why they're at Dollar Tree. I don't know because they have a weird scent. I don't know. But free of lots of different bad things that are horrible for your skin. So I'm excited to try these. I'm excited to try the sensitive ones because I've preached to you guys before about how sensitive my skin is. But so yeah, Jackson just pointed out a good thing. These have, there's like a weird little arrow because these seal the little, if you can see on there, I doubt you can, but it has like a little clear thing that just covers the little flap. There's a hole on there that you pull one out of. So they're not like the Bolero ones that have the little plastic door that opens. Yeah. So, but there are 30 in those, like there are 30 in the Bolero. Mm -hmm. So I grabbed one of these. This is the Hydrating Facial Wipes, Coconut Oil and Rose Hip with Hyaluronic Acid. So I had just been wondering what the Coconut and Rose Hip smelled like. Sometimes the coconut for me is too overpowering, but no. yeah, that just smells like straight yes. coconut to me. It, it does smell not smell like rose hips at all. <laughs> but it still smells good. Yeah, it smells really good. But, but I'm just one? not really a fan of having coconut scent right on my face all night this long because I usually use these right before bed. So I'll probably give these to Jenna because she really likes these too, but... We have never had a problem with these, so. And the last thing was another wish list find. And yeah, it's the Hydrating Facial Toner in the Watermelon and Aloe. It's for all skin types and it's the advanced formula, paraben free and color free. So it comes in this cute little pink bottle. So one for me and and one for my bestie that i'm going to be sending out in her package <laughs> so yeah you guys that was it for this dollar tree haul and i can't be in that and i hope you guys saw some good stuff so i will see you in my next video bye